What's going on boys and girls? Welcome back to another Ecocalypse video. All right guys, real quick, I wanna talk about the brand new mode that is currently kicking everyone's ass and that is Shatter Cosmos, how it works and what it's all about and how you want to approach it with your alliance. Now, the way this works is pretty straightforward guys, okay? So you have a syndicate, I'm hoping, that is playing with you right now and your goal guys is to reach these Lord of Illusion bosses together on the map and defeat them while collecting resources and leveling up your shattered, uh, sure, your stellar atlas here, okay? So the way this works out is fairly straightforward. Um, what you do is you have right here, these yielding uh, situations where you're you're actually the green guys here. So this is this is my this is my line, okay? So you guys can see here, anything that's green is what I possess currently under my under my belt. And we are the blue lines on here on the map, okay? So our goal here essentially is to collect each other's uh, units and bring them over to this Lord of Illusion boss, which I think we might actually already be fighting right there, and beat him, okay? Or beat it. So here's how it works. Pretty straightforward things, but I want to explain because a lot of people are confused on how, how to manage it, okay? So first off, you you have a team. You get to choose your cases. So these are your cases right here. Uh, so you unlock more chapters, more cases will be available. Once you complete getting your cases ready, you have stamina. Right here, you can see I have 40 out of 120, 52 out of 120. So essentially, the way it works is every time you do a battle of any sort, stamina is used for individual cases, okay? So keep that in mind. Now, the limit is 120, so you don't want to max that out. Restoration rate is 1 out of 12. You guys can see our 52, 52, 40, 40. So one thing's been used more than another. Pre-battle formation here is the team you plan to use. You can set up four teams and you can do any mishmash of units that you want with any Neoliths that are available. Once you have that, you save it, you're good to go, okay? So the way this is going to work out in terms of movement is, again, you start off with this green on the map and you have to essentially collect yourselves together as a group and move along and get to a certain point where you want you want to number one hold as many of these as you can which they are facilities and they give you guys the stardust that i just showed you guys this, which you can upgrade the stellar atlas and then again move all the way together as a cohesive unit to this boss now if you guys look here i can't occupy this spot right the way the occupation here works is this is my the furthest i can go right here okay in order to go any further i need to be able to attach myself to an existing spot so the next place i can actually go to is right there all right now you guys can see here the power here for these bosses are 370548 if i battle you can see your own power it's one two one seven eight seven four for this team and then two five five nine five four for this team okay this is the enemy lineup this is my lineup so if i start this challenge right now with this the, the current stronger team and i try to beat this and i do i get a slot here okay so let's go ahead and grab the slot now i can look here and i can delete any other slots previous to all this because you only have a maximum of seven of ten so right here 29 159 if i look here this is actually uh 43 sorry right here uh, w45 e5 e5154 so this is the spot i want to keep so w43 e514 so click on this seven out of ten and delete any other spot before it because you only have a total of 10 that you can keep so i don't need this anymore i don't need this anymore so abandon those i don't need that technically i'll keep that. actually you know what i'll abandon this no, i don't hold on to it for now just because it's a spot that i want that, that allows us to collect more um stuff and then here this is the one you want to keep 45 154 so anything prior to this now you can see these ones are being canceled all right very important to know that now when these are canceled you'll see anything that that they're connected to that's not mine will turn blue again all right so it means what the blue means essentially it's, an, it's a syndicate members spot and now for me to go further i now need to continue going down this path in order to get closer to my alliance so you see i can't do that one again because i have to occupy this next spot so in order to occupy this next spot i need to be beat this team right so if i battled it again I may not be able to beat it this time, but I'll show you what happens when you lose, okay? It's, just, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Oh, there you go, I won. Okay, perfect. So that means I'm going to occupy this now. Now this allows me to now further go down and get closer to the boss, right? And this is what you keep doing. You keep going here, guys, until you get further to the boss. Now, the whole goal, again, is to connect to your alliance or your syndicate and start attacking this boss together because the boss itself has quite a bit of power and HP. And if you guys can beat it, you get yourself star shards, you get yourself living metals, and EXP. All right, so this is, you can see here, three kins, one kin, two kin, three kin. Please select a kin to challenge. 
only when all kins are defeated can the Lord of Illusion be challenged himself. So you've got to be these three guys first in order to even challenge the Lord of Illusion. Now, this mode takes a lot of time. Okay, this mode takes a lot of patience and a lot of coordination, guys. You cannot expect to do this um, and, and just beat it right away. Okay, it's not going to happen. It, it's going to take you some time, all right? So make sure that you are working with your, uh, with your, your syndicate on Discord. You are challenging the proper units that you want to challenge and you are collecting the rewards you need to collect. Okay, so very important to do all of those things. Now remember, you have many of these that you can use. Mix and match if you are looking to, for example, use Aiken in three different teams, you can. You can, you just have to make three different teams with Aiken. Just remember her stamina will go down every single time you use them, okay? So you can see here Eden is number one right now in there. Uh, this is all of our team members here, all the ones that are making any difference at all. All level one currently in terms of talismans, right? So we have, we're trying to collect as many of these as we can and then hopefully beat the boss and move on. Now, remember, this is important. You need to make sure that you do in fact Put your Stardust Yield in here and you have to assign somebody, okay? You can't manage anybody on land, but you can man manage people on actual uh, signal towers. So it's important to collect yourself as many signal towers as you can. Now, as you're going through this, you do want to give up smaller signal towers like these, the ones you just saw earlier, that these ones, small ones, for the medium ones, especially if you can actually get the medium ones, okay? They're a lot harder to beat, but they're a lot better to have. So don't, um, don't waste your stronger teams on smaller places, try to collect the bigger places first, okay? And again, try to move yourself closer to your, your teammates so you guys can all work together on beating the boss. It's very important, all right? So that's pretty much the gist of it, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and attack this. Hopefully I can get this one as well. Oh, insufficient points, okay. So I'm gonna need to come back here. That other team, I won't be able to do it with, so I'm not gonna even bother trying. Um, you guys can see here as well, research speed, you get, get your life chips up. Okay, I don't have Shiyu, so I can't get this. I forgot to do this this morning. Um, and there you go. These, these life chips will give you extra stats throughout this whole thing. And once you have the high-risk one uh, unlocked, you want to do that as well too. Okay, so I, I unfortunately did not have a chance in the laboratory. The research and life chip requires a large number of cases. Help daily. Each day, the laboratory will list cases in demand. Click on the case that you have, and you will be able to do it. Okay, so there you guys go. So we'll do the 15-hour one for now. So we'll select this. Mm. yeah i think that's what we want so select yeah researching you can see here the research will last for 15 hours so we'll let that run for for its time being um that's pretty much it for now guys as you collect these rewards right up here and killing the bosses you'll be able to get yourself various different things through the shop the shards shop and again this is just a mode that's going to take a while okay so don't expect to do this uh right away and get it done uh, make sure that you are doing these as well too. Try to complete these missions as much as possible and collect as much Stardust as you can. You can see I have 5,000 out of 18,000. By collecting it here, <clears throat> you're able to gain more, right? So make sure you are in fact collecting them uh, over time and you're able to use them to update and upgrade this whole section, okay? Oh, so real quick guys, to collect your Stardust, there's a little chest that'll pop up here and you click it. You can collect Stardust, and then you go ahead and apply it to one of your buffs. So, for example, I have this one currently. Mm, next one I want is probably going to be this one here with um, resistance and attack. So, I'm going to go ahead and synthesize this now. And now I should have that equipped, okay? So, really important to note that, that you're, per hour, you're going to see a little chest. It's not red dotted at all. you got to click it, okay? I forgot to mention that in the video, so I came back to tell you that. All right, guys, the pain... Uh, again, enjoy the video, enjoy the game mode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.